Hi, I'm Reed Pettengill. I'm here at Durastill in Kansas City, Missouri. This is how you receive your distiller. It is in two boxes and I'm going to show you how to unpackage it. It's in two boxes so it doesn't get damaged in any way. I've never seen one damaged yet. So when you order your distiller, it comes to your home. This is how it comes. Now if you've ordered a 30H or a 30J or a 46C, they're all the same box. They're all the same dimensions and this is all the only way they're packaged. We'll open a, the outside box and undo it. You raise it up and, and get this flap underneath. And you tip it up. When you get it to this position, you just lift the top box off and you'll see that uh, it's got another box underneath it, just like the top one, except it fits inside of it. You get that off and set that aside. And you'll see on the box arrows that say this side up. Well, that's good and fine while you're shipping it, but while you're undoing it, I always like to flip it so it says this side up is down and I open the bottom. And I do that because it's so well taped inside there and suspended in that box that it's hard to get out from the top but it's really easy to get out from the bottom, so I'll show you how you do that. You just do it exactly the same way as we did before, and you flip all the sides back down, and tip it like that, and then you tip it so it says this side up. And then you lift your lid off, and there's your distiller, and all your parts right there. And that's the easiest way to get it out of the box. I know I've done hundreds of them. This foam protection comes on the distiller that they wrap it with. This is one of the most well packaged things you'll ever get in the mail. So what you do is you quickly take the foam off by cutting the tapes that hold it down to the, the packaging mount. And you just lift that up over the top. And you be careful you don't scratch it in any way with your razor knife. These wing nuts right here, you just undo those and all this foam comes off. If you just slide that like that and pull that out and the lid's upside down on it, you take the lid out and put it over here and then all the foam comes out. Now this is very important, this next step. You take this wing nut clear off right here. A lot of people forget about this. There's a piece of cardboard down in there holding the float from bouncing around during shipping. And that, that holds it. Now, there's also a piece of cardboard in there underneath it, and you pull that out, or you may have a little fire when you turn your heating element on, or you'll have your boiling chamber full of wet paper. So you pull these two things out of the boiling chamber when you unpackage it. When you open it up and pull that off, you have a sample of still clean and your warranty and uh, all your manual right there in a package and you save that do not discard that you'll be needing that there's a package of legs that comes with this there's also a lid knob we'll open that up you put your brace cross brace on top of your lid and you screw your knob on top of that. Just like that. Very simple. You put your wing nut back on the top. You don't have to have the wing nuts clear off to put the lid on because the lid goes down and it slides sideways and then back and locks. Give it a slight little turn on the lid so the lid turns just a little bit before you seal it down and you tighten it down and your lid's got a tight seal on it and it will have for the, the lifetime of your distiller if you do it that way at first. You put the legs on it and they just screw onto these bolts on the bottom of your distiller. You can adjust the level with these legs so that it doesn't wobble. You just screw the leg on the bottom in a counterclockwise motion until it's just barely snug is all it takes. 
just lift it up and tilt it back. Now you have your distiller out of the box with the legs on it. Okay, there's also a post filter kit and you open it up and you pull out the post filter and this is where the post filter goes is in between the distiller and the tank if there was a tank here. This tube goes from the back the distiller to the to the filter. And these two elbows hook to the filter and one goes into the tank and one goes onto the hose. And I'll show you how to put that together. Now when you get your 30H uh, assembled and you've seen the video on how to assemble it, this is what it should look like. I'm going to show you how to put the water hook assembly on it for your bottle. And what you do is you tip it back. Now this is where a lot of people get stumped because they don't understand it at first because they've never seen a distiller. But this right here is where the distilled water comes out. So you put your tube hooked to that and it's kind of a tricky thing to get on there because it, it fits tight and you, and you push it over the top of the stainless steel pipe. And it takes a little effort to get on there and you wiggle it around like around in a circle till it goes up on about a half an inch. Half an inch is fine. And then you slide your clamp over the top of your hose. And you tighten that up with a screwdriver right there so it doesn't come off. Okay, you'll notice on your filter there's some there's some arrows that the point the direction of the flow of the water so we want to hook up the distiller to this side because that's the side the inlet is and you just take a rub a knife and pop the back off and you pick up the the elbow that's got barbs on it on this side the other one hasn't got any barbs on the bottom of it that's so it can fit inside the tank this one's now these two nylon uh, 90s. One's a hose hose barb on each end, but you'll notice one of them has the barbs clear out to the end. The other one has the first two hose barbs ground down and off. If you can see that, they're not there. It's important that you get the one that's smooth on the end on the exit side of the of the filter because it, this end goes down in the tank. So you, just so you don't have to backtrack and undo it again, and uh, this will save you time if you, if you watch this and see how it goes in. But the smooth 90 goes to the outside where the out comes on the, on the filter, the exit side of the filter. The first thing you do is screw the, the uh, 90 into the filter, get it quite tight, and then you just push the filter onto the onto this plastic line, and these hose barbs will hold this on there. It doesn't need a, it's no clamp required for that, and I won't push it all the way on because we're just demonstrating here. Then the other one just screws into the filter. You got to take the plug out. And this is how you change your filter. You should change your filter about once every six months in normal use. And so you know this is how you do it. And you can always order a new, a new uh, kit for your filter. And your other hose with the bottle hook on it. Your other hose hooks to the other end of your elbow or your filter coming out and it slides on to that elbow. So what you have and end up with is a inline filter, post filter. You tip your distiller forward. And then whatever kind of bottle you have to catch your water in is what you use. Now 
You can use a polycarbonate bottle like they put on water fountains or water coolers. That's preferable. Or a, a refrigerator tote. I just have a small bottle here to demonstrate how you do that. Now what you do with the 30H is you open the lid and you pour a gallon and a half of water in it and it should start. The float will raise up and it'll turn on. You put the lid on and tighten it down just like you do on any of the others. Give it a little bit of a twist on top so it seats. When that gallon and a half of water is boiled out, the distiller automatically shuts off and you'll have a gallon and a half of water in your bottle on the floor. And you can do that up to eight gallons in a 24 hour period if you could keep it running like that. But it's, it's a, manual, a manual distiller. Great for two people. Uh, it's great for uh, people that don't want to put a great big investment in an automatic system. And it's a good way to get started. With a 30H distiller hand fill, you can always upgrade it to a 30J and put an automatic kit in it. Uh, and then you can always upgrade it to a, a 4 gallon, 10 gallon, or 25 gallon tank. So it's a good way to get started with distilled water to see if you like it and to continue on with it. A 30H plugs into 110 volts and it produces 8 gallons a day.